what exactly is financial leadership? That very next day, the GM phoned me. He said, come to my office. I want to talk about the budget process. I went to his office and he sat me down. He said, you know, David, I'm really not impressed at all uh, with the way the managers in this hotel deal with their numbers. Nobody knows what's in the middle of their financial statements. They don't understand their payroll and their expenses. So we have to fix that. And we're going to fix it through the budget process. I said, oh yeah, how are we going to do that? He says, well, um, everybody's going to present their budgets to me and you, and they're going to have to um, get my approval, which means I want them to zero base their expenses. And I want everybody to have a staffing formula and a staffing guide. And if it doesn't make sense to me, and if they can't tell me exactly what they need and why, it's not going to get approved. I've never seen so many people in accounts payable. I've never seen so many people coming to ask questions about payroll. Um, and one by one over the following weeks, people presented their budgets and many of them were shown the door uh, and had to go and get more information, had to do better. Um, but I want to tell you, by the time Michael came back, we had a budget where every single manager in that hotel knew what was in their next year's budget for payroll and expenses. And that's really what financial leadership is all about because at the end of the day, all the GM wanted was each one of his managers to be on top of their numbers, uh, what they were ordering, what they were scheduling and how that would line up to what the budget was and how that would be uh, altered inevitably when we have a month where we have less business or even more business. And you know, this GM, he didn't know the first thing about accounting. He didn't know the difference between a debit and credit. All he wanted was department managers that were on top of their numbers. That's financial leadership.